All right, what is going on, everybody? Shall we begin? We are gonna begin. The Playmates Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire figures. I am so excited. I made the announcement at the beginning of January that I was coming back to Playmates and I was gonna do figures for this movie. And obviously I was doing some prep work already. I was beginning to place the orders for the figures at the end of December, right before I made the announcement video. And after the announcement video, I started doing the videos on some of my existing older figures, which I know not everybody was too keen on seeing. I know you guys want to see the new stuff. Well, I had to do something about the old figures while we waited for the new figures to arrive. My idea is to showcase everything Playmates has to offer from this movie. So in case you're still on the hunt for these figures, you're not sure exactly how much you want to get, what you're going to get. Well, don't worry. I hope this video will um, will make that clear for y'all. I did something similar with Godzilla vs. Kong where I kind of made a video explaining where you can purchase the older figures. It's kind of like that, but this was just more like, here's everything there is. Let me show you how good they are. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm doing here. So, well, further ado, let's dive right into it, shall we? All right, so the first item isn't actually from Playmates. I'm sure you guys can kind of figure out what it is, but it is the biggest thing I am going to be reviewing in terms of the uh, toys from this movie. And I, I think I did this unboxing video not too long ago, but because it is the biggest item, I'm pulling it out first. This is of course the RC Heat Ray Breath Godzilla from Jada Toys. Jada Toys, not Playmates, it's a different company, but this is I think the biggest Godzilla toy I have ever acquired. Then of course, we're gonna follow it up with the giant figures. I think they're 11 inches, but apparently I was a bit off. Apparently they're just called giant figures. I'm not even sure if they're measured correctly, but if the Godzilla versus Kong giant figures are 11 inches, I'm pretty sure it's the same here as well. I digress, let's show you. First one here is Scar King, of course. Scar King is the new antagonist of this movie. He is an evil orangutan. The next giant figure is, of course, the other monkey here. We got Kong with his beast glove, the giant Kong. And of course, there's a third one. And you all know which one that is. I am, of course, talking about the G-Man himself, Godzilla. Boom. So pink Godzilla. I think this is a little bit bigger than the previous one from Godzilla vs. Kong. And this is the perfect time to tell everybody that any Canadians watching this video, like me, that are struggling to find these figures, there's a good chance our Walmart may get them. But knowing like, the history of my Walmarts, we tend to not get them. But go to GameStop. I made a couple community posts where I actually saw these exact figures with my own eyes at several game stops not just one there were several game stops i went to they had it you got some of the big stuff out of the way what shall i show you next i mean i brought up i mentioned the mask i should probably bring that one up i actually originally didn't plan on buying this when i ordered the figures the masks were not included until i went to gamestop and i saw it <laughs> So next up, we've got the playsets. Now, Playmates has made two of these playsets, and of course, we got some last time with the Godzilla vs. Kong stuff, we, the Hollow Earth sets, City Battle sets. Those are pretty good sets. So I'm I'm very happy that they decided to make more playsets for this movie. And of course, one of them is very much a spoiler. And I have been very careful this time. Uh, if you've been keeping up my videos, you know I'm trying to keep the spoiler monster under wraps. But I will show it off just with a disclaimer. So anyone watching this video right now, you want to skip the playsets because it does include a spoiler, then you can see the timestamp in the description, which you can click on it and it'll just take you straight to the next part of the video and it'll skip right through the spoiler monster. Just in case for those who don't want to get spoiled. I want to respect them. Our first one here is Kong vs. Garden King. There you go. I'm going to show off the non-spoiler one first just in case there's someone here still watching and doesn't want to get spoiled. There you go, we got Kong vs. Scar King here, uh, both are six inch figures, exclusive paint jobs, that's what makes them exclusive. Very excited to get into it, I love the transparent see-through box that they have now instead of the fully covered boxes like Lego. The other one, 
This is the spoiler one. So if you're still here, click on the timestamp if you don't want to get spoiled. But if you want to see it or you just don't care, here it is. Godzilla versus Shimo. This is, of course, exclusive prints as well. And this was actually how we kind of have an idea of what Shimo will look like in the movies. Just a render, I know, but this is based off what he'll look like in the movies. So this is what he or she will look like in the movie. I am not going to get into the debate of if Shimo is a female or a male. I'm not getting into that. But this is the other one. Very, very excited to get into this one in particular. I want to see what this Shimo looks like with those exclusive colors on it. So, I'll put it back here just to cover it up. All right, next up, let's show off these seven inch figures. This is the Titan Evolution Godzilla, meaning that you have this kind of odd looking plastic figure here, plastic looking Godzilla, but then you peel that plastic skin off and then you will get pink evolved Godzilla underneath. All right, the next one here is our first Battle Roar figure. Battle Roar Godzilla. Now, of course, we got a Battle Roar Godzilla and Kong and Mecha Godzilla last time. This time we have a seven inch version of it. It's a seven inches. That's the measurements. So there you go. The next one is Kong. A much better improvement. Now, obviously, I want to once again say my thoughts for the review, but this is so much better already just by looking at it. Our villain, Scar King. And uh, I think this is where you actually can hear his roar for the first time. Interesting. Now, the next few ones should be uh, quite easy to find if you're living in Canada. These figures are available on Amazon right now. Uh, maybe games I will get them too, not sure, but as, as of my knowledge, at this moment, Amazon has them. So the first one here is Suko with Doug. This was my very first one that I picked up, and of course, we have my boy Doug right here. It will be followed up by Kong with the Beast Glove. So these two were the first two I got, of course, if you've been keeping up with my videos, you'll know these were my first package. So Kong with Beast Glove, I sure hope this Kong will be a lot better than what we got previously. This is, of course, Pink Godzilla. There's two Godzilla that they've made for the six inches, so I'll probably do this one first. But there you go, that's one, that's like the default two. And then I'll follow it up with the regular Godzilla of Heat Ray. So this is OG Godzilla before he evolves into the pink one. There you go, it is a new mold. I know a lot of people keep asking me that. It is a new mold. Scar King, I'll probably do this one next. Very nice, six inch Scar King with Whiplash. Now, the next one of course is that spoiler monster. So again, if you don't want to get spoiled, you can click on the timestamp, it'll take you right next to the next bit. And if you're still here, fantastic, let's show you. This is, of course, once again, Shimo. This is the six inch regular Shimo, so just, you know, the more common one with the Frostbite Blast. This is gonna be an interesting monster to see in the movie. So that is the six inches, the regular six inches. You'll see these ones first. So I guess I'm gonna also show you this first. So this will be covered in the spoiler bit as well because this is also a quite a bit of a spoiler. So uh, if you're still watching, just know I'm about to review Shimo once again. <laughs> so yeah, here it is. So this is the other one, the die-cast figures from Jada Toys once again. So Jada Toys made the, the RC Godzilla over there and these die-cast figures. And they do sell these individually. Although you can be like me and just save, save my purchases and buy it all in one go through this four pack. So of course we got Godzilla, Kong, Scar King, and Shimo on it. This will be quite interesting. I actually never collected Jada Toys stuff before. So this is the first time I have some of their stuff. This is gonna be interesting. Definitely gonna be interesting. So, let's hide this here as well. If you skip through the the spoiler bits, just know I showed off two items here. All right, six. So we'll do the three inch figures next. So the first one here, of course, is um, Godzilla Evolved. Next up, we got Kong with the Beast Glove. Then we have, of course, Scar King. And last but definitely not least, before I show it, this is, of course, the spoiler monster. So, once again, open the description, you'll see the timestamp that will skip right through it. If you're still here, I'm gonna show it off right now. It is, of course, Shimo. Bum, bum, bum. There is Shimo, looking very nice. After showing off the three inches, of course, there's also the two inch figures. So, let me show you. Doug, of course, my boy Doug. 
very well deserved that he gets his own figure. <laughs> we got Suko, and of course we've got Evolved Godzilla. Regular Godzilla. Doesn't say Godzilla Heat Rages. Regular Godzilla before Kong doing the Hulk smash pose. And then the Wart Dog, this is a new one. This one is shown in the trailer, but Playmates has not done anything related to this. And then of course, Scar King. And then last but definitely not least, the Spoiler Monster. So once again, I believe this will be the last timestamp you can click through. So, you don't wanna get spoiled, click the timestamp right now. I'm about to show it off. Three, two, one, boom, there you go, Shimo. Very, very nice. Last, but definitely not least, these are the last things I'll be reviewing. Oh, well, until Playmates makes more, but these are the last things for now, for this series of videos, is of course, the Christos. These are the mystery mini Christos. These are also available at GameStop. If you want to purchase them for yourself in Canada, go to your local GameStop. These are indeed available. I actually bought an extra four. So I ordered the first four from the, my toy store. When I discovered these were at GameStop, I went ahead and bought another four because there's only four figures, four possibilities that you can get out of these uh, crystals. But obviously by buying four, I'm not gonna guarantee in all four of them. So I bought an extra four from GameStop. As you can see, there, here's the price tag. There you go, I paid $8.99 each because I have um, the edge card. I bought eight, so I have eight in total. Hopefully with these eight crystals, I can at least get one of all, one of each. Can I complete the set before I get the duplicates? That's the main question. One, two, and last one. Boom. These are obviously are a lot of toys. I honestly don't remember how I even did it for the Godzilla versus Kong stuff. I'm even surprised I managed to do those videos. To match my schedule, obviously I still have school, work, this, podcast, I have a lot on my plate. So I've, I've devised a, a pretty good schedule that I think I should be able to manage to do this and my editor is going to get a raise after this because he's a lot of videos to help me edit. <laughs> so let me go through my plan, my idea of what I'm going to do. So as of now, what you're seeing is probably, you're seeing a haul video, then a review, haul video review. I've been kind of repeating that pattern every two days because I, if I post every day, it might be too spammy and then people are not gonna be able to watch the video in time. So that's why I'm doing it once every two days. So you're gonna see an alternation between haul review, haul review. And by the time I am out of haul videos, it'll just be my regular Funko Pop videos. So I've decided to put out the spoiler monster reviews after March 29th when the movie comes out. So it's gonna be not too far from now. We're already in February, so a month basically. I think I should have enough time to actually put out all these videos and then I can put out the spoiler monster stuff after the movie comes out. You can just expect the Kong vs. Scar can place it for the time being. And then afterwards, I think we're going to move on to the Battle Roar figures, the seven inch figures. So you're gonna see the Battle Roar figures and then of course the Titan Evolution Godzilla will come after. Then. After the two inches, we're gonna actually review the Giants figures. There's only three, so it shouldn't take that much videos. Three videos, the Giant figures, and then we are going to stop there and then do the three inch figures. And then after the three inches, I will probably get started on the Jada toy stuff. So we're gonna do the diecast figures and then the RC Godzilla. That should give you an idea of what to expect for now, in terms of the Playmate stuff, obviously there's more coming, and of, of course there's the Funko Pops. Obviously I said I'm gonna do the Spoiler Monster after the movie comes out, so I think after March 29th, I'll do the Spoiler Monster 6 inch review, and of course the playset with Godzilla, so there's that. But then I have the three inches and the two inches, it's fine, I'll just include the spoiler monster at the very end of the videos so people can click off. Thanks for watching, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more so you don't miss a review the second they come out because trust me, they're gonna be very frequent so you'll want the notifications turned on for that. We'll see you then.